Hi guys, in this video I am going to show how to use your RAM as a storage device. By doing this you can get speed faster than your current SSD. So first thing what you need to do is uh, open the link which are given in the description. So the link should take you to the mega drive. As you can see it says mega. And then you should see a file named as RAM disk. It should be nearly 6 or 7 MB. So just download that. Now as you can see I have the RAM disk folder. I mean zip file downloaded. So I'm just gonna open it now and show you what are the files inside it. As you can see there are two files inside this. So I extract all the files. So inside the RAM disk uh, folder you should see two files. One is speed test and for RAM disk. First I'm gonna show the speed of my current SSD. So for this I will need to install Crystal Disk Mark. So I'm gonna install it. And then I'm gonna launch Crystal Disk Mark. Now first I'm gonna show which is my SSD. So mine is a C drive SSD. So I'm gonna open it. And then I'm gonna choose the C drive here as well. As you can see it says C drive and uh, I'm just gonna start the test. Now as you can see on, on my SATA SSD I'm getting nearly 500 Mbps. So that's an average speed for an SSD. Now I'm gonna install the RAM disk. I'm gonna mount the RAM disk. So I'm gonna open the RAM disk folder. Then go to the RAM disk. And then choose your which is your Windows 32-bit uh, or 64-bit architecture. So to know what's your architecture, just go to my computer and see the system type. So as you can see, mine is a 64-bit architecture. I'm going to open the 64-bit folder and in there just click on install.bat so just install that I mean double click on that and then just click on more info run anyways so this might take nearly like two three minutes to install so just do it quickly okay now as you can see installation has been finished now on your desktop you should see three icons RAM disk configuration, IM virtual disk and mount image file. In this you need to open RAM disk configuration and then over here you need to choose your size in GB or in MB. So I'm gonna choose it in MB first. You should allocate less memory than what is there in your computer. So like as you can see right now my system RAM is nearly 6 GB. I will give more than 50% of my RAM so I am going to give nearly 2 GB. So I am going to type in 2048. So that's in MB. If you are going to type in GB means just type in 2 GB. And then now Now when it says done, you should see a pop-up showing your drive information. Now when you see the my computer, you should see the RAM disk as 2GB. Now over here you can copy your temporary files and get a very high speed. Now let me show you the speed test of this RAM. So I'm going to choose the R which we, has, uh, which we had allocated Then click on the speed test As you can see I'm getting nearly 3000 Mbps Which is like 3 times the normal SSD As you can see 500 Mbps and 3000 Mbps So this was the way to create a RAM disk Okay now to unmount the RAM disk just open the RAM disk icon again I mean application and then just click on unmount 
and then it will say you have any files and all just click no and then ok now as you can see the ram disk has been unmounted already so thanks